and let's see. Ah, action with our director's blog. All right, we're gonna start with our hello song. Oh, my screen is not moving. There we go. Hmm. Why? There we go. Did you? Uh, I don't know. Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Can you stretch up high? Can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? Turn around. Can you say hello? Hello. Hello, hello. Can you stamp your feet? Hello, hello. Can you stamp your feet? Can you stretch your spine? Can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? Can you say hello? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you stamp your feet? All right, friends, good work. Let's go ahead and look at our schedule for today. We will say hello to all of our friends. We will do our calendar. Today we'll do the letter of the day. We have a song. We will finish our book clothesline. And the question of the day is using our clothesline book to guess again and see if we can recall what the jobs are. We have an activity that you can do at home. I know that teacher Heidi has a board to go with our letter of the day. I have a few pictures to show for our show and tell. And by then it'll be time to say goodbye. All right, let's get started. We can say, hi, Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte, good morning. So happy you are here, Charlotte. Say, hello, Lucas. Hi, Kartikeya. Good morning, Kartikeya. Say, hello, Aaron and Raul. Hello to Makoa. Hi, Makoa. Good morning, Makoa. Hi, Makoa. James. You can say hi to Mason. Leo. Morning, Leo. Good morning to Charlie. And we have Miles here from the afternoon and Elizabeth and me. Good morning, friends. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our calendar. Ooh, I'm stuck in this corner. Yeah, there we go. Today is still the month of May. The date is the 15th, 1, 5. And this one's a little easier to show because you'll need two hands plus one whole hand. So 10 plus 5 is 15 which is the date for today, 15. Yesterday was Thursday, today is Friday. And we said that we have a new letter of the day. Who can recognize this letter? Kartikeya knows. Kartikeya, what letter is that? It's, uh... <laughs> what letter is that? Letter. <laughs> S. It's the letter S. We have two words that start with the letter S. The first letter in this word. What's this word? Mm. What, what is this image? Knows that? Makoa. It starts with an S and an N. Yep, it so ends with an N. N. So what is it? It's a sun. Thank you, Makoa. It starts with an S and it ends with an N. All right, here's an animal that starts with S. Let's see who knows that animal. Elizabeth. It's a seal. It is a seal. And I know that 
that teacher Heidi has a board to show us with clothes. Since we're doing the clothes study, she has a board with clothes that start with the letter S. Hi, friends. These are clothes that start with the letter S. I have socks. Socks start with the letter S. And a skirt starts with the letter S. And a scarf. Marietta wore a scarf the other day. That starts with S. And I bet you have a pair of shoes. Shoes start with the letter S. And a sweater. That also starts with the letter S. And the last one is sandals, which we're going to be wearing with the warm weather. For summer, that also starts summer. with S. And spring. And spring. Thank you, Teacher Heidi. You bet. We said, Teacher Heidi said that shorts, shorts start with S. She said that a scarf starts with S. Does a hat start with S? Does a hat? You can show thumbs hat? up or thumbs down. I see Makoa has thumbs down, Kartikeya. Does sock, does a sock start with S? I see Elizabeth has thumbs up and Koa. All right, last one of my clothing basket. Does a shirt, does shirt start with S? Mm. So the first letter, the first letter is S. All right, and if you can say, this week our color was white. And if you look at all the teachers, we're wearing shirts, shirts starts with S, with white words. And the word is Sorensen, and Sorensen also starts with S. Our school's name starts with S. All right, friends, let's go ahead and do a song and then we'll get to our book. We're gonna do peanut butter and jelly again. Remember, we crack the peanuts, we spread it, we pick the apples. I wanna see all the actions. This is the song we did with Teacher Yvonne back in our pod music. Bye. Bye, Bye. Teacher Helen. See ya. Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter and jelly. First you take the peanuts and you crack them, you crack them, you crack them, crack them, crack them. Peanut, peanut butter and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter and jelly. Then you take the peanuts and you mash them, you mash them, you mash them, mash them, mash them. Peanut, peanut butter and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Then you take the bread and you spread it, you spread it, you spread it, spread it, spread it. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Then you take the grapes and you pick them, you pick them, you pick them, pick them, pick them. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Then you take the grapes and you squish them, you squish them, you squish them, squish them, squish them. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Then you take the bread and you spread it, you spread it, you spread it, spread it, spread it. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Now you take the sandwich and you eat it, you eat it, you eat it, eat it, eat it. All right, good work, friends. We said that the letter of the day today was S, so we are going to practice writing the letter S. I'm going to go ahead and show it to you one more time. Here's the letter S. And does the letter S have straight lines? Hmm. Does the letter S have straight lines? Let's see. Let's see who will answer that question. Maybe Leo. Leo, do you think that letter S has straight lines? No. No. It has two curves. If we use our sticks here, we have one curve and then we have a second curve. We have two curves that form our S. In the back it says S, 
R, S is in the middle, is in the middle. We said that sun, like our calendar, starts with S. It says that snowmen start with S and square starts with S, S. All right, let's go ahead and practice writing the letter S. Can you practice writing the letter S on your own? Let's see. Remember, no straight lines. It's just a curve and another curve. A curve and another curve. All right, ready? Here we go. See where the smiley face is? We're gonna start at the opposite end, on the other side. Remember, no straight lines. One curve and two curves. Here's an S, let's try one more time. Start from the opposite side. One curve and two curves. Let's go ahead and do our book. Remember, we had our letter workbook in the building, but you can always practice writing it on your own, or your parent can do an S on yellow with yellow marker and you can trace it, or you can find a printable online. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start at the circle. Remember, no straight lines, just a curve. One long curve, one and two. Let's try one more time. One and two. Let's see if we can try, try on our own. We said one curve and two curves. Okay, one more time. One curve and two curves. All right, we have the pictures and it says, color the ones that start with S. The sun, does sun start with S? It's one of our calendar words. Elizabeth. Oh, Elizabeth, do you have an answer to that? Yes. So do you think that sun starts with S? Yes. Yes. Right. The next picture is a snake. Does snake start with S? Let's see. Miles. Miles, it's your turn. Miles, does snake starts with S? Yeah. Yes. Thank yes. you, friend. Oh, there's another one. I saw this on Teacher Heidi's board. Does sock start with S? Hmm. Kartikeya. You want to raise? Raise your hand. Start. Well, yeah, hey, you, need to, you want to tell? The start sock is S. Kartikeya, raise your hand. <laughs> Kartikeya, you have a turn. That, that's, do sock start oh, with yeah. S? Tell, tell your teacher. The yes start. or no? Tell Katya, she's asking you. Yes. Yes, thank yes. you, Katya. Here's a flashlight. A flashlight. Does flashlight start with S? Flashlight? Flashlight. Makoa, what do you think? Uh, no. No. Thank you this so much. This is the last one, and this is a snail. Charlotte, that's your snail. turn. The snail start with S. Can you ask her in Spanish too, Carlos? Charlotte, la palabra snail empieza con S, sí o no? Sí o no? Sí. Sí, yes. And you, the word C is yes in Spanish, and C starts also with the letter S. All right, friends, let's take a look at our schedule. Schedule starts with S. We said hello to our friends. We did our calendar. Our number of the week is still 11. We did our song, Peanut Butter and Jelly. It's time to finish our book. And then after we finish our closed line book, we'll ask some questions. See if you can recall with some of the clues. Furry. Oh. And brushes. Paints of every hue. Canvas and easel. What job does he do? Hmm, what job does Can he do? Can you guess who? Let's see. He is an artist. Cover all. Two <laughs> Work gloves and glue, safety glasses, saw. What job does she do? 
wears these things? Hmm, who wears that? Guess who? Tool belt. Who wears a tool belt? Hmm. She is a carpenter. Carpenter, somebody that builds and works with wood. Heavy pants, helmet, hmm. white suspenders, too. Rescue coat, long horns. What job does she do? Hmm, what does this is personal? What she does? Fire helmet. Hmm. She is a firefighter. Space suit and check back. Start charts to review. Flight gloves and moon boots. What job does she do? Hmm. Can you guess? She is an astronaut. Ooh, look at all the workers, they all came. These clothes are all clues to jobs people do. Is one of these jobs just right for you? Hmm. Maybe. And brush it. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can recall things from the story. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Close lines that, to jobs people do. Let's see. Let's see if we remember. Who wears a hat that has a picture of a letter and they carry bags with mail in them? Who has an idea? Who might Who bring mail to you? I'm waiting for friends to raise their hands. This person brings you packages and letters and they work at the post office. Makua, who do you think is wearing this uniform that Teacher Carlos is showing? Mm -hmm. uh, a, a delivery man. <laughs> That's right. Let's see. Ooh. Yeah, it's a mail carrier or postal worker. Yeah, it's a delivery. They deliver our mail. All right. Wear straw hats, plaid shirts, and overalls. Who wears these clothing? Mm -hmm. Elizabeth, do you know? Oh, I oh, see. Maybe Leo. Leo let's up. see. Leah will get this one. Leo, who do you think is wearing these clothes? Is it the farmer or is it the police officer? Just a farmer, huh? It's a farmer. It's a farmer. Let's see if you guessed correctly. Right. Yes, it's a farmer. All right, here's another one. Who wears clothes that's full of paint? Hmm. They use paint brushes, they make art. Miles, do you think? A teacher or a painter wear those clothes? Painter. Painter. Let's see, yes, an artist or a painter wears clothes with paint. Here's another one. Whose job or who wears a tool belt? Whose clothing is a tool belt? Elizabeth has her hand up. Elizabeth, what do you think? I want to choose an astronaut one. Oh, well, I you just raised your hand and I'm I gave you a turn now. So, do you think who do you think is wearing the changer maker? All right, let's see. Yeah, a carpenter or a construction worker, someone that builds. All right, here's another one. Hmm, I think my co might know who this is. Mm -hmm. Who wears gloves, boots? A firefighter. Helmet. Yeah, let's see. That was fast, Koa. Yes. Firefighters wear that uniform, wear those clothing. All right, last one. Who wears an oxygen tank, a full body clothes, a space helmet? I see Leo has his hand up, or he had it earlier. Leo, do you know who wears this suit to work? Yeah. Astronaut. Let's see, <laughs> an astronaut. 
wears these clothing to work. Good work, friends. All right. See what's on our schedule now. We said hello to our friends. We did our calendar. The letter of the week is S. We did our peanut butter jelly song. We finished our book, Clothesline. We asked questions. Who was wearing these clothes? Whose jobs they are? I have an activity that you can do at home and then we'll have show and tell. I have three pictures to show of friends working at home and then it'll be time to say goodbye. This one is called Huff and Puff. Huff and Puff. Can you blow really hard? Can you puff? All right, so this one is gonna test how strong your lungs are. How much can you breathe? So we'll need a ball, but we can also make balls. So you can take paper and you can either cut the paper with scissors or you can rip it with your hands. You can practice ripping and then you're gonna crumble it up to make a ball. And when you rip the paper, your fingers get really strong. And you can use newspaper. You can rip newspaper and crumble that up into a ball. Or you can use aluminum foil. If you have foil, you can practice ripping foil and roll that up. It makes a crunchy noise. Roll that up. And then once you make your little balls, you're gonna try and blow them. I don't know. I'm gonna try with this big ball so you can see. All right, you're gonna try to blow them. You're gonna go. <gasps> Woo. There you go. All right, need you practice blowing with me? Ready? Fill up your cheeks with air. <gasps> deep breath, deep breath. Here we go. <gasps> Good work. And you can do that also if you roll paper. You can try to blow paper. And you can use a straw. You can put a straw in your mouth and blow it. Woo! I got my paper here. I think I can blow this paper too. What about the aluminum foil? This one's a smaller one. Let's see. Woo! That took a lot of air. Yes, Teacher Marietta. There was one thing that I observed was that some of them will go faster and some of them it took more blowing to move. So that's one thing that you can see and, and observe and maybe Maybe think of what things will move faster. What things can you blow and go faster? And then you can use a straw. You can have a fan if you have a fan or one of those nice air fans that you have, those paper fans. You can see if that moves it further along. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and show the pictures that we have of friends. I see Makoa started blowing, Carlos. Good job, Makoa. See, Leo is ripping some paper. Hopefully you got parent approval on that one. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead and show some pictures of things that friends do at home. This is our after, well, oh, we're not sharing, hold on. Peter's having some issues. All right, what are we, who are we looking at, teachers? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Not on my screen. All right, Elizabeth collected 11 things, which is the number of the day, and she collected 11 white things, white, which is also the color of the week. Way to go, Elizabeth. Good job, Elizabeth. Oh my, all right. Let's see. Who are we looking now? Looking Lorenzo. at now? All right, this is our afternoon friend, Lorenzo. And last week, our color was yellow, and he collected things in his house that were yellow. Kind of like when I went outside and took pictures of things that were yellow. He did a color hunt inside his house. Lorenzo has lots of toys that are yellow. Let's see, I have one more. Here's our afternoon friend, Blake. And at home, he collected blocks and used them to build a house. Thank you, friends, for sharing your pictures with us. All right, let's check our schedule one last time. We said hello to all of our friends. We're so happy that Charlotte joined us today. We did our calendar. We said for the week, the number is 11. The color was white. The letter was S. 
We did our song, Peanut Butter and Jelly. We finished our clothesline book. We liked teacher Heidi's clothesline of the letter S. We guessed what jobs go with what people wear. We said that Sorensen teachers, this could be like our uniform. We yeah. wear shirts that say Sorensen and Sorensen starts with an S and our letters are white. Our words are white. Our activity, practice <gasps> huffing and puffing at home with balls or ripped up paper. We showed some pictures. Elizabeth was in one of them. She collected the number of the week 11 and the color white. And now the time is telling me and the schedule that it's time to say goodbye. And I know that Teacher Rucci has our goodbye book, so make sure we follow along with Teacher Rucci. Here we go. All right. See you later, alligator. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Bye bye, butterfly. Give a hug, ladybug. Be sweet, parakeet. Ooh, ooh I'm still practicing at the end of the year. <laughs> Blow a kiss, goldfish. Fish lips, that I can do. See you soon, baboon. Ooh, 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 ah, 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 ah. Nice baboon, Miles. Take care, polar bear. It's cold. So cold. So chilly. Out the door, dinosaur. Stomp, stomp, stomp. So long, King Kong. Up. And bye, said the fly. The end. And fiend. Bye, friends. Today was Friday. We will see you back hopefully on Monday. For Bye, our... everyone. And Bye, look at Google Classroom. There, there is lots of stuff for you to see, and there is more zones of regulation stuff coming up. All right. Bye, friends.